Well, if you take Metro often, you probably notice some new fare gates at stations across the system. Metro just spent millions of dollars putting them in. Now the transit agency is already considering changing them again because of problems with fare evasion. Our transportation reporter Adam Tuss has the story you will only see on News 4. <laughs> Talk to everyday Metro riders and station managers, and they'll tell you they see it all the time. People not paying the fare and instead going right through the fare gates. It's become such an issue that sources say Metro's new GM, Randy Clark, wants to look at possibly modifying fare gates to prevent fare evasion. Something like these types of restrictive gates that have been piloted on the BART system around San Francisco and are now being used in more stations there. Some riders we talked to on board with that plan. I mean, if they raise the gates, preventing people to jump over, I think that's fine. The problem, Metro just spent millions to install new fare gates across the system and would now have to spend even more. Now, let's take a look. These are the new fare gates right here. There's no physical barrier on top of them to prevent anyone from going across. But if you do jump across the gates, the only thing that happens is it beeps to alert the station manager. Complicating issues, fare evasions not uniformly enforced across Metro because it was decriminalized in the district. Metro Transit Police Chief Michael Anzalo talked about how that can be a bit confusing. New fare enforcement in Maryland and Virginia. Uh, the district, uh, we're working with them on their civil uh, citation. Some on the D.C. Council weighing in on this news. Council member Charles Allen, who voted to decriminalize fare evasion, says there should already be tougher fare gates in place. He tells us the previous leadership had a chance to buy fare gates that are taller and more secure, but they decided to stick with the ones that many people can just step over. It makes no sense. Other systems have figured this out and used a fare gate that makes fare evasion much harder. I'm glad the new GM agrees and would strongly support him moving in that direction. For some other riders, though, there may be a simpler fix, cutting prices. Maybe, like, lower the rates a bit, like almost $5 for one side. I think it's a bit too much, but not everyone can pay that much. Metro's board chair tells us his priority is making sure Metro has sufficient revenue. It's estimated the transit agency loses over $25 million a year because of fare evasion. Adam Tuss, News 4. Now, the News 4 I-Team found that even during the height of the pandemic, when there were far fewer riders on Metro, hundreds of citations for fare evasion were still being issued at certain stations in Maryland and Virginia.